Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. Well, with the US dollar sinking even further overnight has given momentum for the Australian dollar and now clearing this level around 76 7595 has given further upside potential. However, although the RSI is holding to a somewhat bullish but slightly overbought signal, the MACD we need to keep an eye on. If these two marry up, then we could see a squeeze up towards that top side of the range, somewhere around 77, 80, 90 area. However, there could be a bull trap up there and therefore see the market reverse sharply and fall back towards the bottom side of the range, somewhere around 76.5 to 76.75. As I mentioned, the US dollar, which measures the greenback strength against a basket of six major currencies, has fallen further overnight and now negated the inverse head and shoulders. This, in terms, has given slight upward momentum for the euro. Keeping an eye on these technicals, as we could still see a move now towards the region of 121, 70, 80 area, due to the fact is that uh, the indicators are slightly firming and therefore could see that move. Got the end slip further since the rejection from around 105, 75 to 106, and with the target now seen at 104.15 and reassessed from there, because we could even slip lower to 103.80, given by the technical aspect. With the pound breaking above the level of 137.45.65, is there a bull trap coming? Well, towards a high of 138, could see that bull trap and therefore see a sharp downturn. But at the moment, I'd rather sit out just for the moment and just monitor the price action and see if there is a bull trap waiting. With two dojis in play for sterling yen, the upside attempts have been somewhat slightly hesitant towards 144.95, but I see the resistance around 145.25. Nevertheless, the technicals are a little bit swaying to the downside, and if we see a close under 144, that would give further indication down about 142.80. Well, the break of the upside for gold is giving a little bit more bias to the bearish, uh, bullish case and looks towards maybe to 1878 or 1878. Keep an eye on the technicals. MACD hasn't fully confirmed the ball break, but from the close in New York above the 38 level does give further bias to the upside. Finishing off with the oil, the market is still overbought and giving us some indication that this recent trek may be coming to an end. Nevertheless, the market may still struggle to any advantage towards 59 and could see a pullback to around the 54 region. Well, that wraps it for today. Thank you very much for joining me. And as always, go out for the intro report and I hope you enjoy the rest of the day.